Good evening, I'm Sarah Wallace. A two-year-old Brooklyn boy is dead tonight. His little bruised body rushed to the hospital, but it was too late. The child's father charged with murder. Incredibly, police say the man used a stun gun to try and revive the child he's accused of beating to death. Lucy Yang is live at the 77th Precinct. Lucy. Sarah, this is the kind of case which gets to even the most seasoned detectives a violent murder where the victim is only two and a half years old. Brooklyn police have made an arrest tonight. They say the killer is not only a significant drug dealer in the area, he is also the child's father. As far as detectives are concerned, no more fancy studio pictures for 27-year-old Christopher Willis. He's accused of beating to death his two-and-a-half-year-old son, Dot One Murray, as a form of discipline. This was only the latest in a series of beatings administered by Mr. Willis to discipline and toilet train the Tuan. Detectives believe he even resorted to this paralyzing stun gun to try and revive the child. It's not clear if the gun was also used earlier to hurt the child. Willis reportedly had a total of eight children by four different wives and was living with another girlfriend when the toddler was killed. The baby belonged to one of his wives who said Willis took the child from her because he didn't like the way she was raising him. At the time of his arrest, police reported confiscating $30,000 worth of crack, another $80,000 in cash, and a cache of expensive weaponry and ammunition. Six fully loaded handguns, two Tech 9mm automatics, one 44 caliber Desert Eagle Israeli military weapon, one 380 caliber automatic, one Ruger 9mm automatic, and one 38 caliber revolver. Willis is described as a mid-level drug dealer with a history of violence against the women in his life. Police say they were terrified to talk to officials tonight. Authorities tell us Willis does have, an, does have a criminal record dating back to 1981, including seven arrests for robbery, burglary, assault, and narcotics. Now he is also looking at murder. We're live outside the 77th Precinct in Brooklyn tonight. Lucy Yang, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Also tonight, a 26-year-old Bronx man is under arrest, facing justice and charged with the shooting death of a 7-year-old boy, the wounding of another boy, and shooting another man allegedly five times. Police say that it happened here at the Castle Hill houses when two men allegedly fired more than a dozen shots during an argument with a third man. Tonight, 26-year-old Rafael Augusto is charged with second-degree murder. Other charges may be pending against him. The cops are also looking for another suspect in this case. The little boy is in serious condition tonight. The adult victim is in critical condition. Also tonight, police are looking for a man that they say shot an off-duty cop during a robbery on Staten Island. It happened on Forest Avenue near Jewett Avenue early this evening. The off-duty policeman is identified as Dominic Tartucci. He was making a bank drop for a second job that he was working for for McDonald's. There were two robbers. They escaped with $2,000. Tartucci is in stable condition tonight. Sarah? Harry, four Brooklyn teenagers accused of killing a drama teacher to get his bicycle have all been arraigned tonight on murder charges. Police say 16-year-old Jerome Nisbet shot Alan Winslow four times after the group of teens tried to steal Winslow's bike in Prospect Park. 16-year-old Chad Jackson and 14-year-olds Gregory Morris and Robert Brown are also charged in that crime. And tonight, the victim, Alan Winslow, is being remembered as a kind and considerate man, both by his loved ones and his professional colleagues. Friends and family attended his wake today in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, where the 42-year-old lived with his wife and two young children. Harry. Tonight, two Long Island newlyweds are looking back on a honeymoon that they spent in the hospital after they stopped to help a driver in trouble. Lisa and Larry I'm Kofsky really were right. driving on the Southern State Parkway on Memorial Day shortly after their wedding reception. While they were helping a stranded driver, an out-of-control car crashed into them. Now they're home recovering, and they say that they would stop and help again. I didn't even think about it, actually. We just automatically stopped. I mean, I've always been under the, uh, I always felt that that could be me someday or a family member, and I'd like somebody to stop for me. Though the Kofskis missed their honeymoon in Atlantic City, the man they helped on the side of the road says that he will never forget their kindness. Well, no honeymoon for Ross Perot and the trio of GOP gubernatorial candidates in the Garden State. They were hoping for his endorsement, but he hardly mentioned them during a get-out-the-vote rally. In fact, the Texan didn't even mention Tuesday's primary election. 
David Navarro with the politics of Perot. If you were going to vote for governor today, who would you vote for? Under gray skies, people turned out in Wall Township today to mingle with candidates from all parties inside a giant hangar. Vote for Jim Waller, Good vote. Governor. the only candidate we can be proud of. Organized by the Ross Perot organization United We Stand America, it was called a get out the vote rally. I vote for Mickey Mouse as opposed to Jim Florio. Out of the 2,300 seats brought in, many went unused. But with almost 2 million undeclared voters in the state, all three Republican candidates for governor made sure to fit the rally in their schedule. I want to be identified with the people of the state of New Jersey who are interested in this election and who take the time to come out on a Saturday to be at a political rally. Everybody sees this as a, as a real horse race right down to the last minute. We could have a very long Tuesday night, I think. I'm delighted to welcome Ross Perot. I think that he and I stand for a lot of the same values in life. Some organizers say many at the rally are leaning toward war work, but it was clear the man who carried 16% of the state when he ran for president was the real reason most people turned out today. And Ross Perot wasted little time defending his organization, which has recently been under attack by some former members. Every time they hit us, the membership just zooms up. Isn't that interesting? We have huge days every time a hit takes place. He then touched on familiar themes, the national debt, congressional term limits, and the North American Free Trade Act. Looking every bit like a candidate, he then left to a standing ovation without answering any questions from reporters. Ross Perot and his organization are not endorsing anyone, but all three candidates are anxious to pull in the Perot vote, knowing that in a primary, where voter turnout is usually low, a few thousand votes can often mean the difference between victory and defeat. Reporting from Wall Township, David Navarro, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. On to New York City politics now. The subject is money, and it looks like it's going to be a long weekend for Mayor David Dinkins and the City Council as they battle over the city's new budget. They have until midnight on Monday to balance the more than $31 billion package. Now, the two sides are trying to agree on $300 million worth of cuts to cover some state and federal aid that may not come through. The haggling is expected to continue through the weekend, and if needed, Monday's deadline can be extended to the end of the month. Sarah? Harry, in Westchester County today, the focus was money mixed with the environment. Movie and TV stars joined Robert Kennedy Jr. and hundreds of people in an eight-mile walk around the Croton Reservoir. The watersheds that drain into the reservoir are prime real estate, but development is polluting the drinking water. These walkers think the solution is simple. Environmentalists say the state also needs tougher laws against landfills and water sewage plants that leak pollution into the water. The entertainment world mourns the passing of a country legend tonight. We'll have details coming up next. Plus, another huge story among the stars tonight. One of pop music's biggest celebrities, Mariah Carey, belts out her wedding vows tonight. We'll show you who made the guest list. Also, you won't find a vacancy at this landmark hotel. It's because it is just slipping into the ocean. We will have the story next on Eyewitness News. Wake up. Call 540-WAKE. Get out of bed and get ahead. Use your touchtone phone. Call 540-WAKE. We're the wake up that works. So why worry? Don't ever be late again. Call 540-WAKE. Do it now. Only $2 per call. Depend on us. Call 540-WAKE and wake up right. Wake up bright. Wake up to us tomorrow. Call 540-WAKE. Cutting costs starts with good ideas. Lilco Electric Lineman came up with a better way to manage an expensive repair problem. They invented a hydraulic jack which cut repair time on Lilco transmission towers, getting circuits back in service sooner and lowering costs. All of us are committed to cutting operating costs. By being more efficient, we can keep Lilco's expenses down. And that's an important part of good service. The people at Lilco, working harder to serve you better. I'd like to show you an all-natural lawn care product, Thatch Master. With spring application, Thatch Master reduces excess thatch without power detaching machines or old-fashioned raking. It uses a natural protein enzyme to gradually break down excess thatch so water and nutrients are more easily absorbed into the soil. Get your lawn ready for summer now with Thatch Master. It makes a tough job easier, naturally. Available at Sears, Kmart, Franks, and participating True Value, Thatch Master. 
Giorgio's on Route 46 East in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. This is the place for live country music, 50s, oldies bands, and karaoke sing-alongs every Tuesday and Thursday, plus cash prizes, free country dance lessons every Tuesday and Thursday, two live bands every Friday and Saturday, no admission charge, great food, pasta, steaks, and seafood at affordable prices, Sunday, June 6th, Capri's. Coming Sunday, July 18th, the Dupree's, two shows. Call now for reservations, 201-797-9388. One of country music's biggest stars is dead tonight. Conway Twitty collapsed this morning in Missouri and died a short time later. Conway Twitty's career spanned three decades and included dozens of number one hits. He started out as a songwriter in the 50s, but soon began singing his way up the charts. Well, he'll certainly be missed by our whole industry. And he was a brilliant man with picking material, with uh, singing songs, made great records. God, he was tremendous on records, so we'll miss him a lot. Doctors say that Conway Twitty died of complications from surgery after a blood vessel ruptured in his stomach. He was 59 years old. Thousands of women die every year of breast cancer. Tonight, though, there could be a major breakthrough in the fight against that disease. Researchers in Australia say they have developed a vaccine to prevent breast cancer. There have already been successful tests on laboratory mice, and now the researchers are testing the vaccine on a group of women. No hope, though, tonight for a grand old seaside hotel in England, which is literally slip, slip, sliding away. Mother Nature is tearing away at the structure's very foundations. <laughs> It all started last night when a huge landslide ripped through the oceanfront cliffs below the Hallback Hall Hotel in Scarborough. The first to make the 300-foot fall was a whole wing of the 100-year-old hotel, along with the Rose Gardens and Conservatory. The guests and staff made it out safely, but the owner cried as she watched her hotel collapse. It's awful for me. So imagine how I feel. I've cried, but I'm sure we'll come again. Today, tourists crowded nearby bluffs watching the spectacular display. Exposed guest rooms, now rooms with an open-air view, hung over the gaping cliffs while hotel workers struggled to save antique paintings and furniture. The four-star hotel had 30 rooms and stands on one of the fastest eroding stretches of European coastline, clearly. Well, after today's rain, you may think that the weekend was kind of eroding into a total <laughs> washout. It certainly was, but Veronica Johnson is up next with our exclusive AccuWeather forecast to let us know if we're going to get a break tomorrow. And if it is not snow, we will tell you where the white stuff has fallen. Stay with us. Your teeth aren't flat, are they? Of course not. If they were, a flat brush would be ideal. But since your teeth are shaped like this, we designed our brush like this. Introducing Crest Complete. Your dentist uses special instruments that get between teeth. Crest Complete gets between two, up to 37% farther than the leading flat bristle brush. So to help maintain a dentist clean at home, get new Crest Complete. Only Crest could make a brush this complete. If you're a veteran and you are unemployed or underemployed, we might be able to assist you. We are the Veterans Leadership Program, a program by Vietnam vets for Vietnam, Persian Gulf, or recently separated vets. Our special training and career placement programs are geared to your needs. And there's no cost to you or the employer. So check us out. Call us at 212-269-8857. That's 212-269-8857. Wake up, call 540-WAKE. Get out of bed and get ahead. Use your touch-tone phone. Call 540-WAKE. We're the wake-up that works. So why worry? Don't ever be late again. Call 540-WAKE. Do it now. Only $2 per call. Depend on us. Call 540-WAKE and wake up right. Wake up bright. Wake up to us tomorrow. Call 540-WAKE. Giorgio's on Route 46 East in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. This is the place for live country music, 50s, oldies bands, and karaoke sing-alongs every Tuesday and Thursday, plus cash prizes, 
Free Country Dance Lessons every Tuesday and Thursday. Two live bands every Friday and Saturday. No admission charge. Great food, pasta, steaks, and seafood at affordable prices. Sunday, June 6th, Capri's. Coming Sunday, July 18th, the Dupree's. Two shows. Call now for reservations. 201-797-9388. The wedding bells ringing for singer Mariah Carey tonight aren't background music for her next big hit. Actually, it is her wedding day. She's the bride. Sony Music President Tommy Mottola is the groom. The wedding took place this evening at St. Thomas Episcopal Church on Fifth Avenue. In attendance, celebrities galore, Billy Joel, Christy Brinkley, The Boss, Bruce Springsteen, Daryl Hall, Michael Bolton, and in case you're wondering, yes, the bride does record for the groom's record label. But no Ooh. wedding bell blues. No wedding bell blues. Stormy weather, though. Oh, yeah. But at least we don't have <laughs> snow, you know? <laughs> at least we don't have snow. <laughs> Out That's on true. the West Coast, Donner Summit. It's, it's only 16 days until summer. And get a load of this. Donner Summit around uh, Mammoth Lake. That's up there in Northern California. Eight inches of snow on the ground, three to five in Squaw Valley. And since then, this was as of this morning. Since then, most of the snow has turned to light rain showers pretty wacky weather that's one of the things that makes weather so interesting currently we're holding at 57 degrees humidity is at 97 percent in our barometric pressure it is starting to rise now because the front has gone through our area the cold front that is moving right along our winds right of the northeast at five miles per hour and we managed to squeeze out of this particular system 17 hundredths of an inch of rain to satellite we go. We put the clouds in motion for you, show you that storm system. We're dealing with two of them now. One is up over Lake Ontario, cold front extending out of it, sweeping through the area. Another low pressure system is just off the coast of Virginia. It's this one that will intensify and move northeastward, coming very close to our area during the morning hours, perhaps squeezing a bit more precipitation um, out of our area and that means for areas of Long Island likely to see some more drizzle but tomorrow the showers most of them will stay to the north of our area that means also for Connecticut and upstate New York area low temperatures we will see them predominantly in the mid to upper 50s 58 degrees and around Staten Island the city temperature will take it up to 74 degrees with a mixture of clouds and sun more sun toward the afternoon hours our winds will change to more of a northwesterly direction as well with some drier air funneling on in but what that means clouds and sun there are the showers they'll stay to the north of us for temperatures the southern tier of states will be quite warm we'll see this warmth and humidity start to move toward the northeast clash with some slightly cooler air and drier what that's going to do is create a clash of air masses if you will and produce some big time thunderstorms it's this system though that's sitting up across the midwest that will come moving on across Monday late, we'll see an increase of clouds and then some showers, perhaps a sprinkler too. Monday night, waking up forecast at 55 degrees, more clouds than sun, but clearing out nicely tomorrow, 74 degrees. Gusty winds averaging between 15 and 20 miles per hour, so hold on to your hats. Your exclusive five day forecast calls for showers back on Monday, as I said, and then warming up very nicely to 86 degrees, more summer like weather. Lots of sun on Thursday. Good I summer. Can't wait. Here. <laughs> You're off. You're lucky. Well, rain today did put a damper on the horses and the jockeys during the running of the Belmont Stakes. Also, a heartbreaking tragedy marred the race. Mark Stevens has the story coming up next. Plus, the Yankees are lone starring it tonight. They're battling Texas down south. Highlights next. Now, let's go to your live lottery drawing. It's the New York Lotto Drawing, observed by an auditor from Coopers and Lybrand. Good evening and welcome to the Lotto Drawing for Saturday, June 5th, 1993. Tonight you could win or share a jackpot of $4,500,000. Now for tonight's Lotto Numbers. The first winning number is three. Tonight's second winning number is 10. The third winning number is 43. Tonight's fourth winning number is 11. The fifth winning number is 46. And the sixth winning number to win or share over $4 million is 2. The supplementary number for fourth prize only is 15. Tonight's winning lotto numbers are 3, 10, 43, 11, 46, 2, and supplementary number 15. For the New York Lottery, I'm Maxine Gibbs. Thank you and good night.
The GMC Jimmy is already loaded with a powerful V6 engine and four-wheel anti-lock brakes standard. And now we've dropped in a few extras. Like reclining seats, air conditioning, a killer stereo, tinted glass, and much more. Now, how do we load you into a Jimmy? With this limited time smart lease. Drop in to your Tri-State GMC truck dealer today. Wake up, call 540-WAKE. Get out of bed and get ahead. Use your touch-tone phone. Call 540-WAKE. We're the wake up that works. So why worry? Don't ever be late again. Call 540-WAKE. Do it now. Only $2 per call. Depend on us. Call 540-WAKE and wake up right. Wake up bright. Wake up to us tomorrow. Call 540-WAKE. I'm Gerald Stockton from First Funding. Do you feel that purchasing a home is totally out of your reach? Then find out how First Funding's Home Easy Mortgage Program can make you a homeowner. Attend our free workshop and get a certificate that will qualify you to participate in our first time home buyer program. The workshop is absolutely free and you can't afford to miss the opportunity. Seating is limited, so call now and make your reservation. Upcoming Home Buyers Workshop, Thursday, June 17, 6 p.m. at York College in Queens. To register, call 718 434 2000. Pick a topic, any topic, and they got an opinion about it. Five women I really enjoy talking to on the next Oprah. Monday at 4, right here on Channel 7. Mark Stevens with sports tonight, 125th running of the Belmont. Everybody ready to celebrate, but yeah, the last leg tragedy. of the Triple Crown is yeah. a uh, memorable one. We won't soon forget the 125th running of the Belmont. History made as a first came in first, but there were clouds in the sky and a cloud on the track. As tragedy found Belmont Park today, Preakness winner Prairie Bayou, the pre-race favorite. Despite the wet weather at Belmont, the track still listed in good condition. It was a clean start, but on the backstretch, watch number five, that is Prairie Bayou. Breaks stride, the gelding suffers a compound fracture of the left foreleg. The jockey Mike Smith jumped off. Sadly, the horse had to be humanely destroyed. As the race continued, at the head of the pack, what a surprise, with Julie Crone, a lady aboard for the ride. But in deep stretch, it's going to be colonial affair, winning it by two lengths. Yes, Colonial Affair, the surprise winner of the Belmont. Julie Crone becomes the first female jockey ever to win a Triple Crown race. Kiss and Chris came in second, Wild Gale third. Sea Hero ended up eighth, but that was good enough to win the million dollar Triple Crown bonus under a cloud of tragedy today at Belmont. On to tennis now, and so could Mary Jo, the giant killer, do it again? Ladies finals of the French Open and Mary Jo Fernandez. She beat Gabby, then Arantxa Sanchez, now against the top seed, Steffi Graf. Fernandez took the first set, but Graf the second. Then in the third, Steffi took control. <laughs> Steffi Graf wasn't like Fernandez's previous two opponents. Steffi put Mary Jo away in the final set. An unforced error on match point gives Steffi Graf her second French Open championship. It's her 12th Grand Slam title. Baseball now in the Bombers, deep in the heart of Texas, playing come from behind against the Rangers. A great effort and a great scare in the first. Doug Strange drive to the gap. Hensley Mullins and Randy Velarde converge. Mullins made the great catch, but Velarde suffered a bruise on his left hip and thigh. He had to leave the game. Bam Bam, though, wasn't done. Yanks down 6-5 in the seventh. Base is loaded till Mullins crushes it, and rookie Dan Paintier looks like a rookie. That cleared the bases. Yankees now have a 9-6 lead. That's in the eighth. Also in the American League, the Tribe by one. The Tigers take the Angels. Toronto works nine to five. The O's over the M's and color the Sox white. The Mets, they had a good start under the Astrodome. That's had. The Mets put four on the board for Dallas Green in the top of the first. Jeff Kent stays hot. He homered last night and drives in a couple more here. Brett Saberhagen finally over his bronchitis only lasted into the sixth. He left runners on. The bullpen let him in. Paul Gibson gives up the blast here to Kevin Bass in the sixth. that breaks a five-all tie. Astros go on to beat the Mets 7-5. to five. Also in the National League, the Reds over the Redbirds. Giants by one. The best in the league beat the worst in the league. And Montreal doubles Chicago 6-3. to three. Hey, A change of venues for Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Finals after a split in Montreal. On to L.A. Canadians got the first three, but back come the Kings. Behind the great one, Wayne Gretzky, the equalizer. They're still playing in the third period. This game is tied at three. And then there were two. 
In basketball, the Bulls got their ticket last night. The Suns, theirs today. NBA Finals will begin Wednesday night in Phoenix. It wasn't tough to focus in on the bald man of the moment. The West seventh and deciding game was all Charles Barkley. The league MVP rose to the occasion. Sir Charles tossing 44 at Seattle even got a rise out of his usually calm coach, Paul Westfall. His sons can prevent the three P. And then there's the Knicks. The day after, they went over and out. The day after, Michael told them a thing or two. The day after, Scottie Pippen proved he's no softy, just a big time player. The Knicks can look at it as a golden opportunity that got away or a building block for the future. Either way, they're not the least bit happy about it. I feel we already paid our dues. You know, I've paid my dues for eight years. Um, this is my, you know, my, my time. And I'm very disappointed that we fell short. Sure he's disappointed. Take nothing away from his MVP caliber regular season, but Patrick Ewing did not bring his game up to that mythical next level against the Bulls. Superstars do that. Ewing still can't be mentioned in the same breath as Jordan or Barkley, and that's why the Knicks will watch the finals. That'll do it in sports. I'm Mark Stevens. Ooh, little mm. tough, Mark. Yeah. Well, he did not to the next level. Great player, great year. Mm -hmm. Didn't have a great playoff. That's what the Knicks needed from their man. Real tough time. Tough time. Thanks. Well, that's the news for us for right now. For Harry Martin, Veronica Johnson, Mark Stevens, and the entire Eyewitness News team, I'm Sarah Wallace. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks for being with us. Good night.